Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Yep, I'm getting ready for the final as I'm already studying this week. And I can't wait to, for it to be over because now I'm finally going to be on Christmas vacation and I get to do whatever I want once I'm done with it. <laughs> wow, already. Yeah. My last video I just did was when I started shopping for Black Friday. I got all my gifts. So, very happy that I got what I got. And now I'm going to do a new movie review this week, which I just saw a few weeks ago. Just didn't have a chance to do a review on it, but now I'm going to. And in fact, this is the movie that's going to be on my best list of this year. It's called American Made. And this is the new Tom Cruise movie. And quite honestly, this is a better movie than the Mummy reboot that he just did recently. So now I finally found a good movie that he finally did. Thank God. Well, anyway, it's a story about a former TWA pilot named Barry Seal who winds up working for the CIA to send out all the gifts around the Nicaragua or any other countries for the cartels because he's a drug smuggler back in the 80s. Stars Tom Cruise, Sarah Wright, Domino Gleason, Alessandro Eda, Mauricio Meja, Jama Mays, Caleb Landry Jones, and Jesse Plemons. It's written by Gary Spinelli and it's directed by Doug Lipman, who previously directed another Tom Cruise film, Edge of Tomorrow. And of course, he also worked on other films like The Born Identity, Go, and even Swingers. The movie begins where we meet a TWA flight pilot named Barry Seal, who's played by Tom Cruise who's being contacted by the CIA case officer named Monty Schaefer, who's played by Domino Gleason, back in the 70s. He offers SEAL to fly all these missions for the CIA over to Central America by using a small plane with cameras installed. So later on, Schaefer had asked SEAL to, acting as a courier between the CIA and the General Noriga in Panama by actually sending out all the drugs such as the cocaine and then later sending out all the AK-47 guns to um, to Panama as well as uh, Nicaragua. So he continues to go on on those particular missions that he's doing in order for him to get enough money to actually help um, him and his family and apparently he actually got all he he really made he made a lot of dough which is being packaged all the way inside one of these uh, duffel bags <laughs> and even the, all these suitcases as well but basically, you know, he even had trouble trying to put them or hide it uh, at a safe place. But of course, before that actually had happened, uh, Schaefer had decided to have him with his family to move to a remote town in Mana or Kansas because the DEA is about to track him down. So then, later on, Schaefer had asked Seal for another mission to run all the guns to the Nicaraguan Contras based in Honduras, Central America. So he didn't realize that the Contras were not serious about what's going on because that's when they're going to start a war that's happening. So the CIA basically sets the uh, Contras up for, for the training base. So offers Seal to fly all the way to the Condras, but that was before many of them had escaped. But meanwhile, 
Seal's brother-in-law named JB, who's played by Caleb Landry Jones. He moves in, needed a job. He also has a girlfriend who's a lot younger than he is. Basically, he started stealing all the money from the Seals and was being caught by Sheriff Downing, who's played by Jesse Plemons. And of course, the family, his wife is played by Sarah Wright, yeah, Lucy Seal, along with uh, his daughters. But things just seemed to get much worse. Just as Seal was about to fix everything for him not to um, speak with the people since he was arrested, he was going to find a way to, to ask JB to take a plane so that way he can escape from all this. When he was inside his car, it explodes and he was dead. Pretty messed up. So what happens though was that the CIA decided to shut them down, tried to abandon SEAL, who would soon be arrested by the FBI, DEA, the cops, and all the other law enforcements out there. So SEAL basically escapes with a prosecution by making a deal with the White House, who wants the evidence against the other drug traffickers and all that. Basically they ask SEAL to get the photos that ties with the cartels and the Nicaraguan and the sense this does. But luck may have it though when when he was about to get the photos we soon learned that the photos were been released. It actually led to his arrest. So now his family had to move to another town to be safe. So now Seal has convicted and was given a light sentence to so a thousand hours of community service at the Salvation Army before and of course he's also videotaping himself uh, talking about what he was doing while he was going through all these uh, hotel rooms you know, with his camera and he has a lot of VHS tapes recording all those conversations that he was doing that's before he was killed so there you have it. <laughs> and I really enjoyed this film since this is based on a true story of uh, Barry Seal. Now interesting enough even though this is supposed to be based on a true story some of which were not exactly accurate as it seems because we did learn that the real Barry Seal never did crash at a suburban neighborhood with his plane in, in that one scene where he crashes into it and then he had to get out he had to take out the, the bag that's not only filled with cocaine but also with money inside all the dollars and he gave it to that kid to actually uh, spend it so that way he'd be able to get whatever he wants and then he had to ride on the bike <laughs> all the way. So that was pretty interesting even though I guess this was Doug's take to actually make it more of a fib than, <laughs> than what he was hoping for. But I, I thought it worked because that was a moment where he was flying on the plane and, and the DEAs or, were like following him around while he was working with um, his crew just to send out uh, some more uh, the drugs all the cartels that's flying in for the country since we already know that he's like a delivery guy in a way and I gotta say Tom Cruise did a very good job playing this role I mean this is definitely the best performance I have ever heard from him for a very long time I mean he gets a Interesting enough, he has a sudden accent, so we begin to learn here. Uh, definitely, he definitely has his charm, 
he's he's very good at this and it really shows how he can actually pull this off uh, the cast themselves, uh, Sarah Wright particularly, she was very good too as uh, Barry's wife Lucy, along with uh, Domino Gleason as Monty Schaefer. He was working for him and really shows how how good he really was when, when it comes to it. They also had Jama Mays uh, as uh, Dana Sapota, who's, um, I believe she was the, um, who was um, an attorney. I mean, I, I couldn't even recognize her at this point when I saw her. It was really interesting. Um, also, it, it definitely has a bit of a 70s and 80s feel to it with the cinematography that they use, with some bright filtering that they that they had and. There's some grain that they used, and they use all the the technology that they got. That was pretty well done. Since this movie is being set during that timeline, there were scenes in the movie where they also focus on Ronald Reagan, along with his wife uh, Nancy, yeah, the first lady, because this was while he was being taken in to to work for the White House. They even show in the Just Say No campaign and everything that happened. It was like, man, he was really lucky <laughs> that he get to work um, for the president and everybody else to, to get all these photos and everything. That was interesting. This is the movie that actually had a plane crash. They were filming this movie on set when they went to Colombia actually killed two people causing serious injuries that happened um, on September 11 of 2015 that year so that was a shame and apparently they went to the hospital pretty sad about what happened to to the people who got involved in it so this should definitely be a tribute to him, to them when they filmed this. This is a great film. Highly recommended. Uh, definitely for Tom Cruise's performance because he finally hit it right at the park. And I really hope that he does get nominated for an Oscar and a Golden Globe. So let's see what happens. Because uh, I really enjoyed it. And this is definitely his best film to date. For Doug Lippman when he works with Tom Cruise next to Edge of Tomorrow. Right there. <laughs> and it actually did pretty well at the box office, surprisingly. It, it actually made uh, 133 worldwide over its 50 million budget. So I'm glad it did so great so far and, and shows. So here we go. <laughs> so anyway, that's American Made, and I get that film. Five stars. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and I'll see you later. Bye.